the Nampa Public Library is under fire again, this time for a book found in the children's section. Kirsten Thrones is live in the studio with more on this story. Kirsten. That's right, Natalie. This is the book in question right here. Tonight I spoke with a Caldwell mom who says what's on the inside, even what's on the outside of this book is inappropriate for children, even teens, and it doesn't belong on any library shelf. It's the latest book under fire at the Nampa Public Library. I looked at it and I was just appalled. Shelly Gary's four-year-old son picked it from the children's section. And she admits she didn't look at it until they got home. I don't think that that book or any other book like that should be in any libraries. Her concerns? The wording on the back cover, the picture of a woman's chest on the front, and the story about a 14-year-old boy doing a sex ed video for a class project. So she called the library and they told her they would consider moving it to the teen section. But Is that good enough for you? I don't think it's appropriate for teens either, so no. Karen Gansky, the library director, wouldn't go on camera, but in an interview with the Idaho Press Tribune, she said, quote, I really couldn't recommend taking it out of the collection. It didn't seem to me it was inappropriate. Gansky tells me nothing will be decided until the book is returned. Three years ago, Two News reported similar concerns about these two books. Several parents said they were pornographic and easily accessible to children. But in the end, the books were kept on the shelves. Other parents I spoke with tonight say a public library isn't a place to ban books. I think it should be up to the publisher more so if the book should be banned or not. Parents should monitor their kids, and if they don't like what they're reading, then they should step in. But Shelley argues a library should be a safe place for children and not a place to worry about what they may pick up. They have to live in Napa to lodge a formal complaint about a book. Shelley actually lives in Caldwell, so she can't officially have a say in getting this book off the shelf. But I did learn tonight from her that a Napa resident contacted her and is interested in possibly fighting her cause at the Nampa Library. We're going to follow this story and bring you the latest as it develops. We're now live in the studio. Kirsten Townsend, 2 News, watching it for you.